For a barbell box squat or bench squat, you'll want to have either a normal weight bench or like a sturdy box, like a plyo box for you to squat to. Typically, if you're not used to this exercise, it's better to have a higher box or bench to start with at first, and then as you get more comfortable, you can actually lower it down to a lower height. That's only if your squat form is maintained throughout. So you wanna set this up just like a normal barbell squat. So if you've got safety bars, you have those up. Uh, your barbell should be set up at about shoulder height. So have your J hooks set up at shoulder height, barbells held across. When you first get started, you're gonna walk under the bar and place it on the tops of your shoulders. So not on your neck, but instead try to roll it down to where it's just across the tops of your shoulders. If you need to, you can actually squeeze the shoulder blades back in together to give yourself a little bit more of a shelf to place the bar on top of. Alternatively, you can actually use like a squat sponge or wrap a towel around your barbell just to make sure it doesn't hit this knobby part of your neck. Okay, so roll the bar back and you go underneath on top of the shoulders. You're gonna go ahead and have your core nice and braced. Typically with squatting to a box, you can use more weight. You don't have to. This is also a great training tool if you're just unsure about your squat depth. Um, but if you're using heavy weight, especially from this position, Elbows are pulled down, abs are nice and tight, so you're contracted here. Slight squeeze in the glutes, big breath in. And then you're gonna pick the bar up, take as few steps back as possible, just to make sure that your spine is um, safe. So we've got hands wrapped around the edges of the bar. If this is uncomfortable for the shoulders, remember you can move the hands out slightly, but that does make it slightly more unstable. From here, I'm gonna squat down, normal squat um, pattern here. And the moment I touch, I'm gonna to come back up. So I'm not gonna sit on the, on the box and then lean back, like just chilling out on the box for a second. It's more like I'm using the box for a guide. So for me, I have like just like a slight forward lean whenever I do my squats. So I'm gonna maintain that lean, touch with my bottom and come back up. You might be somebody that has like a really significant forward lean, same thing. You'll just go down until your legs or your butt touch the box and then you'll come up again. So remember, a good squat pattern, good squat stance is going to be about a hip or shoulder width wide, toes turned out slightly. As you're squatting down, you're trying to maintain an upright position, but usually it's not going to be completely upright. So this is just about impossible. Hips are going to press back slightly, knees are going to stay kind of over the midfoot, and then the lower you go, the more of a forward lean you might need. So remember, like I said, the box is going to be great for helping you control that lowering portion and not feeling like you're gonna fall on your butt <laughs> whenever you lower down. So start with a high box and gradually lower down to a lower box as you're able to also increase the weight.